Hello everyone, welcome to the part 4 of the video, the series of speed control of induction motor using VFD. In the last part we have seen how you can generate a SPWM. Now we are going to use this SPWM to control our inverter. Open a new model, control V. Now we need to create an inverter first. So type MOSFET, double click this, we don't need the measurement pool. Rotate this block, then press control I to invert this block. Now we need 6 such blocks, control C. Let's do the connection quickly. Type a tag form. Type SW1. This will control the first MOSFET. Similarly, we need the second one to control this over here. We need a DC source uh, to give the input to the inverter. Let's keep the voltage as 575 as you remember from the last videos that the motor we are trying to control here is having a rated input of 575. Now time to connect the motor. Let's copy the motor from our earlier parts. This will go to the R phase, this will go to the Y phase, and this will go to the B phase. That's on the motor. Yeah, we are getting an error that the VI measurement, right? Okay, any one of you can tell what is the issue? Type in the comment section. We have missed the ground, the common ground. The voltage measurement port has a ground and we have to provide the common ground. Alright. Now let's see the speed output here. Alright. Okay. So the issue is, the last issue here is we need to change the phase sequence. Make it B, make it Y. Okay. Run the simulation again. Yep. Now the motor is running at the rated speed. Now let's try to run the motor at 80% of the speed. Alright. Now we will try to run the motor at 50%. Okay, the speed is almost stabilized. Now let's run the motor at 30%. I think here the speed will not get stabilized, but it will oscillate. As we expected, the speed of the motor is changing as we want. It is taking some more time to get stabilized, but it is definitely getting stabilized. You can see the amplitude, the difference between minimum and maximum is decreasing from 580, 510, now it is around 560 and 520. You are able to control the speed of the induction motor. So I hope you enjoyed this series and if you really enjoyed this series, there will be one more bonus video. In that video, I am going to show you how you can implement the closed loop strategy. That is where you just need to give the reference point to the motor. It will run at that particular point. In the next video, I am going to show you how you can run this motor into a closed loop.